Hello everyone, welcome back to another new video. Today I will be showing you another brilliant chess puzzle where white can play two brilliant moves to checkmate black's king. In the following position, white is down a piece, and black also has a massive attack on white's exposed king. If white tries to attack h6 with knight to g4, black can just take the knight and play the move rook to h8, and the queen sacrifice on h6 will do nothing after king takes queen rook to h1 check knight to h3, while rook to h1 allows king to g8 and black has the entire king side defended. It may look like white is completely lost in the starting position, but this is all just an illusion as despite black's attack on white's king white can play the brilliant quiet move rook to f4, really threatening the queen sacrifice on h6 as now after king takes h6 rook to h4 is mate. If black plays a move such as pawn to h5, white would not take the knight on g5 as that will allow queen takes a3, and black's attack will break through before white can checkmate black's king. Instead, white must play queen takes h5 check taking advantage of the pin on the b1 to h7 diagonal, and after king to g8 queen to h6 knight to e6 rook to h4, the threat of mate on h8 is unstoppable for black. Since bishop to g4 will just allow knight takes g4, black plays knight to e4 to open up the g5 square and interfere against white's light squared bishop. Now, if white plays knight to f3 to take control of the g5 square, Black can play pawn to h5, and after knight to g5 check king to g8 knight takes c4, black has time to continue with his own attack, and white is again too much behind in the race to checkmate. It seems that black might just barely come out on top, but white can play the brilliant move queen takes h6 check anyway. Since king to g8 will just allow queen to g7 checkmate, black captures the queen. And after rook to h4 check king to g5, white is very close to mate but still needs to be careful. If white plays rook to h7 to threaten pawn to h4 mate, black can play the counter queen sacrifice queen to d1 check, and after rook takes d1 king to f5 black's king will be able to successfully escape. Instead, white must play knight to f3 check king to f5 pawn to g4 check, and after king to e6. White can unleash a double piece sacrifice with knight to g5 check knight takes g5 bishop to f5 check, and after pawn takes f5, white can win the game a queen and three pieces down with pawn takes f5 check mate. As a final note, if black had played queen to d1 check after rook to f4, white can still checkmate in seven moves by playing the same queen sacrifice, only this time white must play bishop takes c4 check after king to f5. And after pawn takes e4 rook to f4 check king to e6, pawn to d5 is another rook and pawn checkmate. If you want to see more brilliant chess puzzles be sure to like and subscribe for more. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.